Nicole's shower chair and then I have a tub y'all because self care. Hello. What are you doing? I was just pushing my foot back on the island. Wait, I'm not getting it. What? I'm just moving my foot back. Interesting. It is Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month. It's it is. September. September is always a big month. We love Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month because we feel like it's a, a great time for us to share tidbits and facts and tips and tricks. And yeah, we've been doing that on our Instagram page. So today is what day? Seven? Uh, day six or seven? Hey Google, what's today's date? It is Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. So, day nine. And uh, if you go to our Instagram page, you can check out our posts for this month. And you can even scroll to last year and check out those posts too. Wait, you, do, you have to say what the Instagram page is, Cole. Oh, that's right. It is roll.with.cole. Roll out with that Roll out with that We'll keep doing that for the rest of the month as well. And it's been a lot of fun already. Yeah, we talked about Cole being a daddy mm -hmm. and his excitement about being a daddy. Yes. We're not pregnant. I'm just, not that yet. was just a post. <laughs> <laughs> One of the posts that we just did was kind of touching on doing my own ICs, which is how I go to the bathroom. While I never thought that I would be doing a video to show a everybody about how I would go to the bathroom. Here we are. I think that's what we're gonna do today. Don't worry guys. It's gonna be very PG. This is probably really close, isn't it? Actually, you look, you look really good. Uh, do really, I? You are just really stunning. <laughs> just kidding. It's gonna be very PG, don't you worry guys. So should we roll back to the bathroom? Yeah. All right, here we go. We'll give you a little bathroom tour too. That's true, they haven't seen it yet. Wait, did I clean it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on in. Come in. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> What's up? It's a burrito. All right, here's our bathroom. Woo! I love this mirror. I know, I love Thing the mirror is too. Gigantic. So, this yeah. is our counter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cool. I didn't mean to. It didn't break anything. Oh my goodness. I, I thought I was further away from that. Did you see my water splash up? Yes. Good thing it's all waterproof. Please, you already put two dents in our refrigerator. Please just keep it to a minimum. I know, I'm so clumsy, I'm sorry. Oh okay, can you Anyone? actually roll under your part so I can oh, yes. show them? Uh, do. So Cole can roll under yeah. the sink and use it mm -hmm. very easily. And then this is my side right there. Just perfect. For a long time, we were using a very tiny mirror and Cole couldn't see himself. So now he's obsessed with looking at himself. Well, you had me from the start. <laughs> I'm not obsessed with it, come on. One also really cool thing is that we have heated floors in the bathroom, which is super nice. Cole can't really tell um, because, yeah, I don't really touch the floor, so. But you can tell the difference in the bathroom because it does feel warmer overall. Yes, which is nice, because I'm always cold. This is our shower. Mm -hmm. So very nice size shower, Cole's shower chair, and then I have a tub, y'all, because self-care. We made sure that I get a tub. Have your nice little relaxing candle lit baths at night. And then when we have kids, it is an easy place for Cole to go and help bathe the babies. The other bathroom, the guest bathroom, is just not big enough for him, so we made sure to put a tub in here so he can be involved. Yes. Let's talk about your, your routine the, here. The routines. I roll in, that's always step one. Good. And then, <laughs> and then I gotta grab some things. I grab these two tools, and I'll explain what they're used for momentarily. I kinda just drape them across my lap. And Charisma keeps this drawer nice and stocked with a bunch of my IC kits. For those who don't remember or haven't seen, IC stands for Intermittent Catheterization. And what that means is every so often you do a catheterization. And for me, it's just whenever I need to go to the bathroom. Wait, how do you know when you need to go to the bathroom? That's another good piece of information. So with spinal cord injuries, um, there's something called autonomic dysreflexia or AD, because I don't feel my body from here down. If I had broken my knee, 
I wouldn't really know, unless I saw like swelling or something, I wouldn't really know my body was in discomfort. Autonomic dysreflexia kicks in automatically and it's my body trying to let me know something was wrong. It sends my blood pressure skyrocketing and so I get really high blood pressure, I start sweating a little bit, I get a pounding headache, and then I get chills as well. And um, when I'm starting to get chills, I know that's the AD kicking in and I probably have to go to the bathroom. And once I start getting those chills and the AD kicks in, I know it's bathroom time. And Charisma, if we could switch positions, I'm gonna get in my what? spot. Am I in your way? You're in my spot. That's where I always where go. Where do you want me to go? Over her. This is where I like to go. I like using this as my surface and then I have the trash can. Step one, of course, is open the bag. This is the Vapro Plus Pocket right there. Shout out Vapro. And it is a 14 inch French catheter. Whatever that means. You know what it means. <laughs> It means it's long, I don't know. No, it is, it is based on... <laughs> what? It is based on the size of the opening oh. of your urethra, basically. So let me, can I sit in your shower chair? Is that weird? Yeah. That's so much com more comfortable. Okay. Self-care, right? <laughs> Self-care. This like packaging and the whole thing was set up for someone who had limited hand function. So like, I'm, I'm sure that this company must have worked with some quads to see what worked and what didn't work. There's a little hook here that I put my thumb in. I push it against my chest, and now the bag is open, and I can get in here. Now there is some fluid in here already, and it's saline. We need the saline to act as lubricant, so it actually goes in without like having to shove it in. I reach in, I get my thumb, and I it's in like a loop, so I can always just kind of hook it and pull it out. And here it is. So boom. And first thing I do with this, so here's the tube, obviously. I take this red cap off. Oh, don't fall over, Cole. And then this last part is actually kind of hard. So there's like this little wrapping on the bag, and this is my method of getting this, this part off. You see that thing holding it together? The white part? Mm. I just have to pull like this, and then that comes off. Now this part was really frustrating for me for a while, opening the bag up all the way because for it to be in that small little packet, they have to fold it really tightly and it's kind of hard to open up without finger function. So I found the perfect tab and I just kind of bite the tab right here and it opens right up. <laughs> Okay, you should tell people that you take the red thing off later. That's the last thing you take off. Because if you take off the red thing first, then you see what's happening, Your the tube is coming out. And you want that to stay as clean as possible before it goes into your urethra. This is my pincher, and I'm gonna put this on here in a second. And I can use my thumb to hook one end of the spongy cord. And then with the other end, I can actually hook it beneath my foot plate here. And then now, with this... Wait, is it hooked? Yeah, it's hooked. On your foot? Oh, it's on know. your it's, foot, babe. It was staying, it was working. Now, with this other end of the bungee cord, normally I, I would hook my left thumb into my pants, pull that down, and then hook this in, and that's what holds my pants out of the way. I'm gonna leave this to the side for now, but so y'all know. That's what I use it for. Once that is hooked up, the next step for me would be to put on my trusty pincher. When I first started this, maybe a few weeks ago, like trying to do these on my own, it took me about 45 minutes, or a large part of that 45 minutes was just trying to put this thing on and off. I was about to say I've gotten a lot better at it as I'm sitting here struggling. Kind of have to just like force it in. And boom, there it goes. Velcro the bottom first. Velcro the next one here. And then I can focus these two fingers to the top once I get my thumb into place. Now I actually have some pinching action. I can reach out and boom, pick that up very easily. Put it in and then you start pushing the tube through with the pinching function, just like that. All the way through. And then I just kind of hold the bag and then wait for all the PP to come out. And then I throw it away. That's how I'm doing it. Good job. I mentioned earlier I've gotten a lot faster. It took me about like 45 minutes or so the first few times I did it. I've gotten it down to like 10 to 15 minutes. So it still takes a little while, but 
That's a lot better than 45. I'm still very new at, at doing this. It's literally only a few weeks in. So if you've been doing these for a long time and you know some tips or tricks that I could benefit from, please put it in the please put it in the comment section down below um, to help me out because I, I'm still learning too. I was very happy when Cole learned because I gives him, you know, a sense of independence and I can leave or anyone can leave. He can be by himself. He can leave like meals in the fridge and he can just mm -hmm. put it in the microwave. Oh, let's show everyone how you use microwave. The microwave. Let's talk about independence. Yeah. You want to do the microwave? You want to get us a popcorn for me? <laughs> okay. Let's do some popcorn. Hey, we're talking about independence. Oh, oh my gosh. Stop filming me run into things. Stop running into things. I can't help it. Yeah, so like Charisma mentioned, the, a big reason I've been trying to do like my ICs and more independent things is so Charisma could go off and I could stay at home and be fine and do whatever I need to do here. And something else we wanted me to be able to do independently is make some meals on my own. So we figured out um, when we were doing this pantry that we could get a microwave that actually slides out. I could do this, pull the microwave all the way out, and that allows me to roll in and I can grab whatever I want out of there. Oh, I just spaz. <laughs> but yeah. I'll make you popcorn later though, babe. Is that okay, all right? Is that okay? Fine, if you say so. <laughs> we'll have movie nights tonight. Ooh. Yeah. So yes, September is Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month. And do, 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 do. it is awesome. I think that Cole is taking steps to become more independent because I think it's just good for you, I think, um, mentally. And it allows me to be a little more free too. Yeah, it, I, well, I think it gives me a lot more confidence yes. and it, then it gives us more confidence. Mm -hmm. Like I would get stressed out when I would like have to ask her for ICs and stuff. So mm -hmm. like now I, don't have to worry about that. I just do it on my own. Maybe it takes me 30 minutes, but yeah. at least, you know, I'm doing it on my own. I think that it also is just good for you because when we have kids or when we're doing, you know, I'm busy mm -hmm. doing one project, like I don't have to stop what I'm doing and you can just do it yourself, which is awesome. Right. Maybe we need to invest in like a TV in the bathroom. I can like binge oh watch TV God. shows as I'm going to No, the Cole <laughs> plays music and he sees how many songs we'll play until he finishes. So he tries to get right. it in out, like, yeah. Do it before one song is done playing. Oh, it's I couldn't yeah. do one song unless it was like the record that Edmund Fitzgerald or something. Yes. Nobody's gonna know that reference. Why did I choose that song? And my average is like two and a half songs right now. Yeah. Which is That's all right. Bad. We're trying to do a lot of informational, like cool SEI awareness posts, but there are a lot of other channels out there um, that are doing stuff like this as well. I think we'll throw some um, like maybe Instagram accounts that would be cool for y'all to check out in our description so you can go see some of the awesome things other people are doing too. Yes! We are going to do a house tour mm -hmm. and kind of focus more on what we have done to make this house more accessible for Cole. Mm -hmm. Like he can get in and out and use things, but like people ask about the kitchen. And yeah. our goal wasn't to make the kitchen fully accessible for Cole because we have this counter here. And if we, if he wants to cook something, he can do it here. To be frank, Cole doesn't cook that much. And I I'm love, so scared. yeah, and I love mm -hmm. cooking. So I really don't mind. Mm -hmm. And I always say like cooking for Cole was like cooking for me and making a little extra. Like I do not mind at all. Yeah, but like piggy tailing off that. Piggy, piggy tailing? Piggybacking. Cook, wait, whatever. <laughs> piggybacking off that. With accessibility, I feel like there's always some sort of give and take. Yeah. When there's not a lot you have to take for accessibility, that's great. But in like this instance, if we wanted to have like a range that I could roll under, then we wouldn't be able to have the oven there. It had yeah. to be somewhere else. And that means we lose cabinets space. And then where are we gonna put all that stuff? Like with yeah. the pots and pans. So there's yeah. always give and take. And uh, we'll show you all when we do that video, how we've given and taken. Right yeah, <laughs> and we have an, a stove, like a conventional oven eye thing that we can plug in and Cole can use on the counter if he mm. wants to cook. So we have ways to do it, but we'll show you in that video. Yes. But once again, yeah, follow our Instagram and then we'll share other accounts for you to follow to learn more about spinal cord injury and then disabilities. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Yes, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay positive. <laughs> can you go do can it, you, Mr. Can I reach? I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? means what the heck he no, got his what? own house he got his own car two jobs work hard <laughs> no idea what she's talking about Man.
Uh, I'm scared. Uh, wait, wait. Uh. Hello. Yay. Did I do it? I don't even know if you covered. Uh, I don't know if my hand can cover it. <laughs> anyway, bye. Bye. <laughs> you don't know that song? No. Are you serious?